Steve wants me, Natalie, here one more time, and um, I'm going to kick this girl's butt. Do you hear the thumping? My kids, no matter how much I yell and spank, they won't stop jumping on the bed and kicking the wall. Sorry. I mean, it's all day. You know, the autistic one, he gets a pass, but my seven-year-old daughter has no excuse for imitating him and jumping on the bed and constantly kicking the wall after all that money I spent, you know, trying to get him a beautiful, beautiful bedroom set. Two beautiful bedrooms for the daughter and for my son. Maybe one day I'll show you their bedrooms. All right, so this is my last wig purchase for I don't know how long the next few years I am done buying wigs okay my husband took my credit card they have to do an intervention <laughs> and take my credit cards and I only have four wigs now that I have to treat right okay um yeah so before I you know go this is the last one from Rex, and there's no. I have to really prolong my wigs. Um, yeah, one of my parents who I watched their child told me that you need to have a lot of wigs. You can't just have two wigs or one wig and wear it every day. It's gonna, you know, die out soon. Just like shoes, if you wear the same shoes every day, they're gonna, you know, die quickly. If you wear them, you know, every day a different shoe it lasts much, much longer. So she told me, you know, one wig a week. If you can have like four or five wigs. <laughs> It'll last you a long time opposed to wearing the same one every day. So I gotta go back to the kitchen really quickly. Um, so this I had asked Rex to make the wig more kinky than the other kinky straight one. I'm like it was kinky but not kinky enough. I mean, that was not like a Dominican girl kinky. I wanted it very, very kinky. So I said, please, how do you make the wigs kinky? He said we braid the hair. I said, well, make the braid smaller or tighter this time. And this is what I got. I don't know if I liked my idea of making it this kinky. Although it looks very natural, unrelaxed hair. Um, it doesn't really move. But unrelaxed hair doesn't really move anyway. Like, like if we brush our unrelaxed hair straight up, it stays straight up, right? Like you know, you brush you know your kid's hair when you were a kid, and your mom brush it, whichever way she brushed it, stay that way. So this really doesn't move that much. Um. So I'm going to show you what it looks like flat ironed. Let's see. Alright, so this is Malaysian hair again. And I'm going to show you how it flop. I don't want to flat iron the top because then I'm going to have like a... So I'm going to flat iron an underlying piece of hair so you can see what it looks like flat ironed. The hair feels dry, but it's so kinky. Watch this. I'm about to yell at these kids again. Okay, see how it flat irons to really nice, really nice at flat irons. Opposed to a flat iron, really nice. What setting is it on? Very nice. Yeah, it actually flat irons to, um, a very nice silky texture or relax depending how hot I make the curling out if I put it all the way flat on to 460 it becomes silky straight if I do like half that it becomes more like a yakky look so I do like this hair see how nicely it flat iron I'll do a front piece you might be able to better to see it Ugh! might be able to see it better Ooh, Nelly see that it moves more when it's um but I'm opposed to, yeah, but that's it. So I got to go. My kids are acting up. Um, tell me what you think. Last night I wore it to, um, I wore it like this with the kids. I wore it like this last night with some big earrings. I thought it looked really nice. I thought it looked really nice. I got to go.